Linda must calculate the cost of filling her car's 12 gallon gas tank. So she's at the gas station. And I look at this long problem. I think this is a classic example of a very simple situation blown out of proportion and that looks super complicated. In this problem, let's read through it. She calculates the difference between how much gasoline her gas tank will hold and the number of gallons of gas G already in the tank. Lots of garbage right there, but let's just write down that gas is represented by the variable G, and she has a 12-gallon tank. She, then she multiplies the difference by the price P of one gallon of gas. So P equals the cost of one gallon of gas. So what expression does Linda use to calculate the cost to fill her gas tank? So let's just think about this for a moment before we look at these equations. If this was her gas tank and it holds 12 gallons, the idea is that wherever she's at, let's say she's filled up to gas over here and she has 8 gallons. That means you have to buy 12 minus 8 or 4 gallons. You might not realize you're subtracting when you're doing this, but you have to buy the remainder. You have to buy and fill this gas tank up. That's this chunk right here. So it's 12, the total of the gas tank, minus what she has. And that's 4 gallons. So if you had to buy 4 gallons and each gallon was $2, you would estimate that you're going to spend $8. And that's the idea of this problem. Very straightforward. But we have all this language here that could easily get us confused. So let's just hold on to this idea and this idea to find out which equation makes sense. What we did when we solved this, we said you have a 12 gallon tank and you have to take out the amount of gallons you have. We said it was eight in this case, it could be anything. And that got us started. So out of all these examples, only F does that. 12 gallons in the tank minus the number of gallons you have. So F needs to be the answer. I think it does at least, and I'm gonna circle it. And then I'm gonna look at the next step was 12 minus the number of gallons. We get something in parentheses. In our case over here, we got four. And then we took four and multiplied it by the price. And that's what they're doing here. 12 minus the gallons gives you some amount of gas you need times the price of the gas. So F makes the most sense to me. Here we're taking the gas, um, but we don't know. It's gas times price. Any gas times any price minus 12. That wouldn't really help us. Here we're taking any amount of gas minus price and multiplying it by 12 also does not help us. Here, I guess they're saying 12 times the price of gas, the cost of a gallon, minus the gas already in the tank, which doesn't really help us, so only F makes sense.